We're at our grassroots events today at Voodoo Ride. They're using the rear loading dock section of their warehouse. As a drift track for the day while they're holding their main show, we brought the Z out today, and a bunch of our friends that we actually first started learning to drive with are actually out here, so it's pretty awesome. There's Kenneth, there's Milton, Zach, Sheldon. This setup right here is what like brought inspiration for how exactly how we did the 350. So I'm excited to drive with him today. Hopefully, we can get some good clips. I got Kevin with us today, and we can actually have. It's perfect place. See, you don't hit the wall, so I gotta do it for you. And, and I'm glad like you hit a wall. You my rocket, but you like just I missed. I think I nudged it a little bit. Or not yeah, that's no, that's when I hit the wall. Like, too, so. You have the video of it hitting him? Yeah. He's cockle. Kev's out here turning into a fried lobster. Oh, dude, dude, I'm peeling already. I got the zoom lens on today, so watch this. I can literally get Kevin's face key. Oh! You don't want none of this. You wanna see this? Yo, I'm hyped. Our boy's out here stunting. Sheldon's car's looking fucking mean out here today. He's got the Lambo doors, baby. Gold, everything. But I'm pretty sure that he actually just blew his motor today. His head gasket looks to be shot. It's like plowing smoke out the back on one of the chase runs that we were doing. It just like exploded. Carbon fiber hood, carbon fiber roof, carbon fiber hatch, carbon fiber louvers, carbon fiber fenders. I don't know if he has anything else carbon fiber, but he literally has carbon fiber on everything. It's a ballsy move, but I appreciate it.
last like 20 minutes or so, we haven't really filmed it, but I think Kevin might have gotten some camera footage on this. We just started setting it by ourselves and like kind of went a little bit deeper and there was a bunch of people that were watching. So I was actually like just aiming to punt these cones on the outside and take a little further down, which was a lot of fun. But towards near the end, I started having a steering rack issue and uh, a really weird ticking that we're getting. It like almost sounds like rod knock, but it's a Jay-Z, so I can't really imagine it being a rod knock, but you can kind of see from the wise fab near that it looks like our steering rack might be gone. It's dripping profusely, and our tie rod looks a little bit bent. Oh, you guys can't see shit, I'm sorry. Right, there's a bolt in there, right there, that always comes loose. And when we turn the steering wheel, it like bends the wrong way. So all in all, it was a really good day. Definitely having some issues in the front, but that's as expected every time we go on the track. So I had a lot of fun, really good day. We're gonna start to load up and head home. Oh, and update on everybody else, Zach's car, his oil filter came off and his oil just dumped everywhere so Zach didn't even get to drive it all today. Kenneth destroyed his subframe on a bump over there so he couldn't drive it all today. And then Sheldon, which is over there, blew his motor in his 350. So everyone that I was really excited to drive with, except of Milton, I didn't get to drive with. So I was kind of bummed on that. But nonetheless, I got a lot of driving time today. And what's crazy is I drove just on one set of tires all day. And all those these like chunked and went everywhere and are like shitty tires and I was driving on ice. It was kind of nice because I only went through one set at 600 horsepower with an angle kit. So all in all, super, super fun. And Zach left his little mark before his car broke. Thanks, Zach. Oh, that was probably the most fun I think I've ever had at an event. And I want to talk about a couple reasons as to why. One, they threw on a great event. It was really laid back, there wasn't too many rules, and everyone that was there like kind of like had their head on straight and didn't dig around, which was awesome, so they kind of let us have free reins with what, what with kind of how we want to drive. But secondly, I got a lot of tandem practice today, which was great. The car didn't have any real issues today, stayed really consistent. I developed a weird rattle towards the end of the day, and then I ended up shutting it down. Didn't get any time to investigate it, but it's either like my front steering rack is loose, or the bolts have just come super loose, or I don't really know. I I'm not even gonna say what I really think it is yet because it could be very bad, but also could be something super, super minor. The steering was like getting stuck at full lock and was like locking up and I had to kind of like chuck the wheel a little bit harder, which was making it kind of difficult. But there was a lot of you guys that were out there, which was awesome. And if any of you guys watching the video were filming as the media crew out there, there were a couple times right at the end I was doing solo runs and I was just like nailing cones and trying to, and trying to like really fill the outer zones. And I was like nailing cones, it was awesome. If you have any of that footage, send it to me or post on Instagram and tag me. I'd love to see it and I'd love to post it here. I'm gonna end it here. I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I'm going to bed. Good night. Check out this premium condensation. As much as this is a good thing, we're gonna change it out. Here we have the new Tom's tail light. This is essentially Miley's new booty cheek. Let's go install it.